This special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The police department here at North Las Vegas, such a family atmosphere. My uh, father was a retired officer from here. My wife is a police officer here. Uh, my brother is a police officer in northern Nevada, so it uh, definitely runs in the family. Nora Zebra Union, and it'll be on Owens, just west of Stalker. Occupied twice. I'm going to stop this car. They just ran the stop sign here at Stalker and uh, Webb. Let's see what their deal is. They're not pulling over right now, right away either. So that's something we need to look out for, see what's going on. What's up, fellas? Hello. Do you happen to see the stop sign back there? Oh, yeah, I've seen it, sir. Did you happen to see me coming down the street? Go ahead and keep your hands up here. Quit digging around the car for me, okay? Go ahead and keep your hands up where I can see them. Both of you guys. You guys moving around an awful lot. What's up? Nervous? I got my idea. Why are these guys so nervous? I just drove my wife off. Oh, you did? Where'd she stay at? Right there, Sarah, right there. Keep right your hand there. up where I can see it, buddy. Okay, which apartment? Apartment uh, two. Two? You seem all out of breath. Oh, no. No? Whose car is this? My wife. Wife's car? How come you, you didn't see me coming down the street? Would you say that was a complete stop you made? Oh, I didn't know. I just got my license, sir. Okay. What I want you to do, I see the drugs you have in your hand. Don't, 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 no don't drop nothing. Put your hands where I can see it. Put your hands where I can I see it. I put it right there. Put your hand where I can see it. Put your hand where I can see it. Put your hand where I can see it. Put that other hand where I can see it. Put it up on the steering wheel. Put it up on the steering wheel. Don't move. Keep your hand up where I can see it. Okay. If you come up with anything other than that. Draw one, Charlie. I need 1018. 1018. Copy. Keep your hand where I can see it. Okay, okay, man. Damn, you man. understand me? Don't move that hand. I'm gonna get out. Don't you move. I'm gonna turn the car. Don't you move. Don't you move. I'm telling you right now, man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay! Okay! Yeah. Okay, man! Control one, Charlie. They drove off. They're going west on Owens. West on Owens. <laughs> one, Charlie. Driver's been caps done. Okay, one Charlie's gonna call it. Northbound Boulevard, passing uh, Main Street, passing Tonopah now. Copy, Northbound. Looks like he's gonna go into 21 Boulevard North. He's gonna flip the turn and come back south on the Boulevard. Southbound on the Boulevard. Northbound Boulevard, Northbound Boulevard. Northbound Boulevard. Northbound Boulevard. Northbound Boulevard. Northbound Boulevard. Through the desert, going back towards Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, driver looks as if he's been out of the car. Looks like a black male, black shirt, light pants. I see him. Driver bail, copy all units. Speed run. 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 We got it! We got it! Inside 2125! Copy all units. 
Still got the OC. Get my key. Don't worry about it. You don't need your key right now. Well, who, who, got who caught him by the fence? Uh, Was that you guys? We came up. That's Did our... we got the passenger too? Yes. He's in front of the car. We got everybody. Yeah. Woo! Good job, guys. Thanks. Good work. Project approaches bridge for overpass. Slow down to 75. Main three. State-initiated pursuit. Um, guy was going through a construction zone and trying to hit police cars. Okay, that's him over there. Stop the bridge for backup one, unable to stay in his lane, weaving in and out of it. Six will be odd, but down at 60 miles an hour in lane one. So we have K9 out as well in case he runs. So. 810 coming down permission to pit. We're at uh, 50 miles per hour now. We've got a pursuit and state coming our way. We're going to try to set up the sticks. And uh, they're a little ways away, but we're going to try to set up the sticks real quick for them. Uh, we got, let's call it uh, stop sticks. We're going to put them together here and wait for them to show up. We'll see if we can get them set out for them in the road. And uh, when they hit the sticks, it'll slowly uh, flatten their tires up. And they won't be able to go much farther. Let's we'll see where they're at right now. South of 70 seconds, 95 miles an hour, lane three. They're uh, coming down there. South of 72nd, which is about it's about five exits up. They're doing about 95 miles an hour right now. We'll see if we can get the sticks out. Sticks were hit. Stop sticks, so that should flatten his tires and he should. Hey, K9 driving right now. We're still southbound, approaching north north. Looks like his left side tires are going flat. K9 now primary. 282 to coma. I also did that. Three advising. No, 810. Three CV pulling off to the shoulder. Berkeley. Dog coming through there, everybody stay in their car. Looks like they got a night gun point up here. Can you see his hands? Can you see his hands? You want to do it? I'll break the window, you taste. Okay. Cover us. Break the window, he's going to taste. Ready? Ready? off. Pull him out. Watch his hands. Watch his hands. Got him. 
Break on the car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Approaching the scale. See this guy coming up doing probably 100 behind me. I took the ramp to uh, the scale. And uh, once he took the ramp to the scale, I jumped in behind him and took off. Let's go He's got to be drunk. I, I figured he must be. Yeah, the way he was driving. So, oh, yeah. Weaving in and out. and you know, It's on his cell phone. Whoever got the sticks out did a really good job. Good. It was dead center. Good. Oh, yeah. They looked like you got off. Just a normal day. Russ. You get to tase him and, uh, and stick. Did you get on the fan? Uh, just the glass. I'm trying to put the taser through the window. Not, so. I'll just need reports from whoever uh, tasered him and whoever else pulled him out of the car, and that should be good. Yeah. All right, I think one of your troopers hit my sticks down there, too, when I threw him out, so. I think that was probably me, but I'm not sure. I no, went, I wasn't I the went first to the guy. inside. Okay. And were, you, were you the one who started it? Yeah, I started in Gig Harbor, so. On Gig Harbor? Yeah. He just not pull over for you, or? Well, he came up behind me doing probably 100, uh -huh. so I took off the scale, blew both the doors off, I jumped back in behind him, and he just took off. Just took off, and yeah. all the way up here, huh? Yeah. And, uh, oh, good. Cool. Nobody got hurt. No. Looks like he's going to jail then. Yeah, yeah. When the vehicle came by us and uh, I was able to get the sticks out enough where uh, it actually, he ran over them with both front tires. So you can see what it does. So it puts these little spikes in the tire right there. And it, uh, it'll slowly let the air out of the tires enough where the car will gradually slow down at a safe speed where he won't wreck or anything. And uh, with both front tires gone, he's not, he doesn't have any steering left, so he uh, basically just pulled over right here on the shoulder and stopped. Um, so it's, a, it's another effective tool that we have um, that we're able to safely uh, to end these things without anybody getting hurt. And it comes to find out uh, the reason he was running was uh, he had a... Uh, he had three warrants for his arrest, and uh, his driver's license was uh, suspended in the first degree, which is, is the highest you can get in this state, and it takes an awful lot to get it suspended first in this state. So he's, uh, he was looking at some jail time, 